So, ladies and gentlemen, apparently when you reload the game, it puts you back at the main spawn. But at the same time, so I'm not too worried, terribly worried about it. I'm gonna go back there, just gonna leave that there because I don't wanna fill it in. And we will continue on down with our main shaft here. How far deep do I wanna go? I'm not really sure yet. What I really need is kind of a watch or a clock. Some sort of timekeeping device, I'm thinking, just to be able to tell what time it is when I'm deep underground in the middle of the earth. Alright, might as well make a little bit of room here, put up a torch, do those every so often just to be able to give myself a little bit of light. Made our way back into the dirt, sediment, and a little bit of stone here, hello. How far deep do you go? Bunny, what are you doing? But I do not need you mucking up my goddamn operation over here. Alright, this isn't too terribly thick from what it looks like. So, eventual plans. Not really sure. Probably gonna have to set up some sort of outpost up there on the surface. Uh, and exactly what I was hoping for. This does come out the other side. So, looks like we're gonna have ourselves a little mountain fortress up here at the top level. And uh, what does that mean for everybody right off the bat? One, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time up here. But two, I had probably the best embark place that I could have thought of. I always wanted a mountain fortress. And you're lying if you say you haven't. Zombo, what are you doing, buddy? Get out of here. At least I have a nice little corridor within which to fight these guys now. These guys have a lot more HP than I remember them having before. Running out of torches, but that's perfectly all right. I can just go and collect some gels once I break out the other side over here. Should be a good time. What is that up there? Tin? Tin, probably. Alright. Now what I'm thinking is have some living quarters up here and then having a main shaft straight into the earth down there. And from there we will branch off horizontally, get some resources. Bunny, why'd you have to get right in front of my tool? That was probably not the best idea you've ever had in your life. Oh well. Can't fault him for trying to live life dangerously. That's what we're doing, right? sitting in the middle of our rooms, either watching me play Terraria or playing Terraria as I am. That man has his brain showing. I'm loving the new models for everything. I think I just heard a star fall. Note to everybody who hasn't played this before, stars will fall out of the sky. You're probably going to want to collect them. They will be useful later on. Much, much later on, but it's still nice. Oh, I see a chest up there. And Are we near the jungle already? That would be crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy close to the original Embark. Not sure what to think about this. Anyways, gonna go ahead and make myself a way up here and then up and around because I don't wanna have to deal with freaking zombies breaking into my place of business. Which means we get to do some exciting jumping for a little bit. Not quite enough range. I'm like one block out. Kind of unlucky that we started off with a pickaxe that doesn't really reach as far as most normally would, but you know, live and let live. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Alright, we've got ourselves a little oof, gatehouse, so to speak. <laughs> Zombie control point, as it were. <laughs> Whatever works. Hopefully it'll work, and if it doesn't, then I just feel kind of silly. One of those, one of those, and I like things being symmetrical, damn it. At least as much as I can make them, at the very least. See, I'm, I, I say that, but then I leave that torch there because I can't be asked to worry about it. Alright, now I have to look over here, just first of all, because, 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 I do not want to have to deal with goddamn jungle right off the bat. Oh, Jesus. Zombies, is this, this is not the time. I'm the place. I'll take that stone block off your hands. I need a sword. First thing I probably do is uh, go and look for some wood. So I'm going to leave this area alone. Oh, they can jump. Alright. We are closing this off. Closed for further renovations. You all, can I stab you through the wall? No, I cannot. It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. 
Nothing to worry about. Oh, hello, Mr. Star. I will take you. Actually, I kind of want to see what I can make with you. Come here. Crafting. All right, what can I make with a star? Place a material here. Oh, that's your mana potion. Stuff, stuff. Jester's arrow, huh? Oh, God, zombie. Um, escape. More stars. And zombies all over the place. It's not that they have more. <laughs> it's it's not that they have more HP. It's that I really, really don't do a lot of damage right now. All right, Jacob. Let's take a look at these stars again, shall we? All right. Bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jester stuff. Star in a bottle. I'm not really sure why I would want that. Space gun. Hmm. Star cannon. Mana crystal is what I'm really looking for. Alright, take this, put it over here for safekeeping. And what do I need? What do I need? I need a copper axe. I need to chop some trees down. Why? Because we're gonna need a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Could be a little monotonous for the time being, but I'm not too terribly worried about it. Come here. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? No, no, don't fall in the depths, damn it. Alright. Looks like we got another little, uh minor cave structure over here. Might do with some exploring in a little bit. Might at least, you know, get this pot. Can I? Can I reach it? Maybe not quite. Get out of the way. Uh, I want the pot. Um, not worth my time. Just copper coins. All right, get this stuff out of the way. Got Hyrule in the background back there. Kind of makes me want to play some freaking Ocarina of Time music. Maybe I'll get to that later when I play some more War of the Vikings. Made a video of that later on, earlier, but I was playing really, really shitty, and I don't particularly feel like embarrassing myself all across the internet tonight. I'll do that later. Uh, on my private shows, yeah, yeah, right. You guys wish. Alright, is there anything up here interesting? Need to start thinking of a plan for this area in there, but I need trees, and for that, all I really need is wooden platforms. I think for now, all I'm going to do is take um, down to 50 for my stockpile of wood. Alright, and now we have plenty of these wooden platforms within which to build ourselves a little ladder. Ladders are uh, pretty necessary at this point in the game. Later on, probably not, I'll just build, you know, structures, but for right now, gonna have to deal with it all right now we can get up and over the mountain how about that now are we right next to the mother fucking jungle is what I kind of want to know all right build this all the way across all the way across god damn it there we go now what are in you is a little bit of iron rope we have rope now huh an umbrella cool um I'll save that just for emergencies, I guess. A few more torches. Shurikens, always useful. Don't need wood for right now. Uh, a little bit more rope. Sure, why not? Haven't used it before. Oh, and I kind of want to break you. Can't do that with a hammer. Interesting. Down here we have some things I haven't seen before. Uh, just bots and bunnies. Dead, dead, dead bunnies. All right. Put this stuff out of the way. Want to make the most of our daylight hours. Probably want to collect a few more gels now that I'm down here. Going to make my way over to the workshop after that. Thank you very much. Thank you for your essences, your insides. You're wonderful, really. All right. Down we go. Up and over. Need to make that a little bit taller for the zombie problems we're going to be having here shortly. Once the sun goes back down, all right. Now, wood. We're gonna need one of these. Iron anvil is really nice, but is the furnace or the anvil what I want first? I think we're gonna need both. I think it's kind of lucky that we just happened to find ourselves an anvil right off the bat. Uh, we're gonna need a hammer. Get that out of the way, acorns we'll deal with later. Dirt block is always useful. Um, armor is probably really, really, really useful. Probably gonna need some doors. Probably gonna need some walls. Wood walls, no, that's the background. I don't need background quite yet. Rope coil? Throw to create a climbable line of rope. Sure, why not? We'll create a few of these. 
not really sure what they're for quite yet. We'll keep them just in case. Life regen is increased when near a campfire. Sure, why not? But this is no longer going to be my front lawn. In which case, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. I am going to... What is this? A wood helmet! Do I want wooden armor? I mean, I don't have too much wood left to my name. Uh, the hammer was the most important part. Furnace is okay. And iron anvil was the most important. Um, four, you're coming with me. We'll just make this one of our... Okay, one of these things is bloody well gonna... Okay, workbench. You're coming with me. Let's work our way up, shall we? This is about the middle here, right through this little uh, area full of tin. Make ourselves a wood platform right here. And diggy diggy dig dig. Anytime this thing would like to get out of the way, would be real nice. Sad thing is I'm gonna have to hit the blocks above this as well, just to be able to stand up there and do it continuously. Alright, here we go. Now, into the mountain is what we need. And then we will carve out our first little antechamber. And I will be the mountain king. You know it. You love it. It's just the way it's gonna be. Alright. Hopefully zombies won't be able to get, you know, all up in my business up there. Jell, what are you doing? Why are you down here? Get out of here. I don't need your shit. Get out of here. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Awesome. Alright, uh, put that there. Get this out of the way. And... Oosh. Okie dokie. Yep, this is quite fine. That'll be good. And then copper. Is this iron right off the bat? I like it. I like it a lot. All right. It is iron. Fantastic. We need ourselves a floor and we need ourselves some light. The first thing we're going to do is carve this shit out of our way. Speaking of light, one of those, please. Thank you very much. All right. Now we've got ourselves a base of operations. Much better than we were doing last time. And dig a dig a dig a dig dig a dig a dig a dig. Not gonna spend too much time. Might actually spend some time off camera, and then I'll show you guys how it was completed. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just playing it by ear as it goes, having some fun with it. Cause that's just the way I kind of want to do things right now. Alright, and then we go over here and do the same amount of space over here, and that'll be good for our first couple of rooms. Yes, yes, we have plenty of materials laying around and they'll have to be dealt with at some point, but that's for another time. All we really need right now is our hole in the ground. Probably use a bed. Really wish I remembered the dimensions to be able to create a new save spot so that we could just load in here whenever we came back after a break. But sometimes you just gotta live with what you've got. Alright, what we got here? Workbench first, and then we'll be doing this as well. And you too, because why not? Alright. Make a little hole over here for our reference. You can go right there, buddy. There we go. Now. Uh, my tin bars, iron bars. I'm gonna need all those. I'm gonna need all these as well. Good thing we've got lots of tin. Alright. This, what is this? Iron ore? Okay. Not too upset about this. Gray bricks! Exactly what I was looking for. Thank you very much. Need all of those. And we will create ourselves a floor right after we create ourselves a new pickaxe of the iron variety. Hallelujah! What have we got? Light iron pickaxe. Plus 15% speed, minus 10% knockback. Not too concerned. 
the speed is what I was looking for. And here we go. All right. Now we're fucking working. Awesome. And it's gonna pick it up, but I'm not too concerned. Get ourselves some stone blocks here. Or no, we need the bricks. Thank you. Gray brick. Do 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 do. And same thing on this side. God, it's so much easier with a better pickaxe. Ah, we have entered into the next phase of operations, ladies and gentlemen. However, we don't have a complete floor. Oh well. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. all right. There we go. Put this over here. Cool. And a workbench here. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. Not symmetrical. I'm not too concerned. Iron short sword. Don't want a short sword. Uh, iron door is fine. It's cool that you can make different kinds of doors now. Mmm. You can climb chains now. That's fantastic. Uh, is there any other building material that I need? 38% power. 25% hammer power. Okay, cool. Can I just break out from here now? No, still have to go from the surface. Which will be annoying. I'll have to clear out a little area over here and then clear this out. And after that, I'm going to have to go and look for some wood. Actually, that's probably going to be the first thing that we do. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Hey, it can hang on the wall now. That's kind of cool. Um, Alright. Just going to get myself some more stone because I'm going to need it later on to make some more of these uh, bricks. I might as well use the stuff that I'm going to have to carve out later on anyways. Cool. And as for you, let me just get the hell out of the way. Uh -uh. Might as well wall this off because I'm not going to be coming out these entrances for quite some time. Alright, alright, alright. See you guys later. Now I have my zombie fort. Feels good. Everybody should have their own zombie fort, in my opinion. Mmm, chew right through that stone. It's a beautiful thing. This is industry. This is the human spirit. You just go out and you go find your vein of gold and you make your fortune. You know what I mean? There might be blood, but you know, it comes with the territory. Alright, lots of stone. Lots of bricks. Need some bricks. Tin bricks? Don't need tin bricks. Don't want a house made out of tin. That's kind of ghetto. Alright. Some more of these. Some more of those. And I think it's time to make a elevator. Elevator, elevator, whatever. Suit your fancy. We'll be going down soon enough, I'm thinking. I've actually progressed a little bit faster than I thought I would have making me kind of happy. Hopefully we'll have enough wooden platforms to be able to make our way up to the surface. Phew, this guy's arm is just kind of ridiculous. Go, I'll be go. Cool, don't have... Uh, need something with further reach. If I was to remake this all over again, that would be what I was looking for. Mine picks with further reach. Has to be, seeing as how there was a negative reach back with the first pickaxe that we had, right? I'm not crazy. It makes sense. All right, and then there. Stone will be a little bit more annoying, but it bows before our will, eventually, nevertheless. All right. Almost there. Almost back to the surface. Once you go down, eventually you're going to have to go back up. That's what Dark Souls taught me. Dark Souls taught me a lot of things. One is that, you know, hate is pretty much all over the place. Wherever you go, you will find hate and suffering. All right. And once we get back up to the surface, I think I'm going to call it for this episode. We've had a nice little run. And you all figured out how the last episode went because nothing essentially happened. Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> now it's too low. Get out of there. Get out of there. Cool. And then one of those. Some of this get out of the way. 
All right, and we have ourselves the first base. This first checkpoint into the Earth of Albatross of Time. Hopefully you guys will stick around for the next time where I will see what's over to the west and maybe make a little bit more progress getting this guy fitted out with some gear. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Albatross of Time. See you later.